right, we're now on this road called the Struggle. You gotta give it to the English, they have a sense of humor. 20%, man, pretty big climb, 400 meters over five kilometers. Let's get it done. It is our lucky day, because we're cycling here on this road that's called the Struggle, and I think we're just one-fifth on the way or something, and someone passes by in his car and he offered us a hitch to the top. To be honest, we didn't even have time to consider it because he said, uh, let me just unload some stuff and I will come back to take you up. I guess uh, we're going hitching and I'm liking it because I'm a little bit lazy today. We are Maudie and Eric, and in this episode we ride from the Lake District through the North Pennines into the Kielder Forest Park, where we're searching for a wilderness hut. Man, it was a ride. Whew, really bumpy, but wow, beautiful. Look at this, here beside this Lake Windermere down there. Man, amazing. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. Oh man, it was a serious climb. Thanks, John. Thanks for taking us up here. Do you enjoy the scenery as much as you would when you would have struggled up here yourself? Perhaps I would enjoy it even more. I must admit that when you struggle and you're at the top and you look back and you, oh man, the, somehow the view gets, more you intense. soak it in more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We are now in the Lake District and man, it's a special area. It's one of the biggest national parks here in the UK with also the most visitors per year and I can totally imagine why it's so impressive and rugged. What also makes it extra special, I guess, is the moody weather, the rain, uh, the clouds and the sun. They really play with the atmosphere, with the, with the landscape. Yeah, it's just a beautiful area, one of my favorite bits. So if you ever come to the UK, don't forget to visit the Lake District. Herbs and spices are really important for us. We don't only want to fuel ourselves, but we would like to enjoy the food we cook like we would at home. It really helps to keep us in the moment. It's, it's really hard to describe how magical it is with the reflections in the water, the clouds, the sun going down behind the mountains. For me it's really no surprise that all these like fairy tales and stories come from 
these countries here. Place with your fantasy. I wanted to tell you that this place was actually recommended by a local to us. Normally they don't really like people camping out here, but they say that they mainly don't like people making fires and littering all over the place. Of course, if you watch our videos, you know that's not what we are about. We normally try to find places that are secluded so that we don't disturb any people, we don't disturb animals. Yeah, we just wanted to let you know that. And tonight is just a magical place, a magical evening. We have found an amazing picnic site here along the river Tyne. There we have the train track. We got some benches here, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make some dinner, have a cider and enjoy the evening. We have made a curry with sweet potato, coconut, milk. Yeah, it's a little bit soupy, but uh, it's delicious nonetheless. So, uh, what can I say? Very nice. Secret ingredient, Marmite. <laughs> Thank you, Ben and Caroline. Thumbs up, please. Good video. They love their gates here in uh, in England. It's a uh, countryside for sheep, and they're everywhere. So they need to stay on their plots. But there are a lot. I think in this past 200 meters, we have four gates. <laughs> huh? You can leave it open because my bike open. is over there. Yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah. That's the way out works, folks. <laughs> First a pretty shot, but then in the actuality. There's all kinds of things going on, bikes <laughs> parked at the side of the road. <laughs> midges around your head, oh, yeah, everything. Midges. Yeah, yeah, midges. It's, uh, There's another uh, one of my favorite new animals. <laughs> midges. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyways, all right. All right. We're riding on the old Alston to Halt Whistle railway line, which was closed in 1976. It was used to exploit the mineral wealth of the area and is now converted to a gravel track for walking and cycling. We are now on this viaduct and we were kind of struggling to get up this bikepacking route. Suddenly there was a man standing on the top of a hill and he started kind of shouting at us like where are you going? And we said like yeah we don't know and he said come up here and I will open the gate for you. Turns out he actually lives here in the old railway station on this train track and he has like a private access to this viaduct. Got like this special treatment. So I went down a little bit to show you the viaduct from below. Pretty impressive structure. The man that we spoke to, he was really interesting. He's actually a photographer and he also told us about 
this area and kind of the trouble that he got into with the viaduct running through his garden. He said that on the ordnance survey maps and also on Google Maps, this road is marked as like a normal car road. So many people are showing up here at random times, like even in the night. And he said that he has to kind of explain the situation again and again to people that this is private property, not public. We had a nice conversation with him and interesting place and we're going to have some breakfast. <laughs> Still on the bridge, third coffee, oatmeal in the belly, and it started to rain. And the atmosphere is absolutely incredible. Talk to some lovely people here on the bridge. A theme for us in this journey is we perhaps want to start a family. So any good starting points or suggestions or absolutely. You see the rule book? Tear it up and throw it out the window because there's no rules. Spend half as much money and twice as much time. Don't throw money at kids, yeah, they don't, don't, spoil them. They don't yeah. need it, they need this. They yeah. need you to walk with them and spend time with yeah. them and take them on adventures. Thank you so much. All, All right. right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Man, how cool to spend your evening, no, your afternoon this way. Sorry, I'm already ahead of schedule. Yeah. Man, this is what it's all about. Couldn't get any better than this. What happened? The chain is somehow it's crossed behind the cassette and it's wedged in between the um, spokes and the cassette. And we have to try and figure a way out of it, but there's a lot of tension on the on the chain and it potentially could snap or damage a spoke or damage the cassette. So we were able to wiggle it out. Now we're gonna do the tension of the derailleur so the chain won't fall off again. It started to rain <laughs> pretty heavily. Uh, now it's a, a, little, a little bit more relaxed. Sorry for <laughs> getting into the camera, uh, but no midges. Actually, I prefer this over midges. Let's get a little bit wet. That's no problem. We're in the tent now. found our body. A body is a shelter. You can find them all over the UK and it's just a great opportunity to get out of the elements, 
These bodies are scattered all around the country, so we are really happy that we stay inside tonight. Yeah, it's been a very windy and rainy day today, so it's great to be out of the elements. It's a very simple shelter. You can make a small wood fire here, that's really cool. And uh, of course, take your rubbish with you, leave no trace. So we're gonna make the most of it. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy. Alright, we are almost heading off again. We had a great stay. I cleaned the place up and we cut some firewood for the next users. We're very grateful for this place tonight because we were out of the wind, out of the rain and out of the cold. And we already made this place feel like home. We just put our stuff everywhere and we're very used to making a place home quickly because we have to adapt to like a new situation every night and uh, it already feels like we're living here for weeks to be honest but yesterday we went to bed warm we had a fire a cup of tea we did some washing and uh, actually we decided to head for another body this night it's around 40 kilometers away uh, why not make use of them while we're here right anyways looking forward to another day riding let's head on the road Dangerous. Heard nothing. 